Well, 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 we made it. Week three of the NFL season is finally over. And I got to tell you, we learned some things. We learned some more things. And um, we got a tie. And let's talk about that tie first off. The Bengals took on the Eagles in a game where Carson Wentz just struggled. We're talking more Eagles players got injured. Goddard got injured. And Sean Jackson got injured. Like, and Carson Wentz just has no help. Like, the Bengals are not very good. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I mean, yeah, they have a rookie quarterback that is very talented in, in, in Joe Burrow, but the Bengals are just not very good. Like, both these teams' offensive lines were absolutely terrible. Both these teams do not did not deserve to win that game. Eagles, especially for, instead of trying a 64-yard field goal after getting a false start, by the way, they just decide to punt the ball away. And instead of the Bengals trying to go down the field with like 10 to 15 seconds left, you know, maybe try something, try a Hail Mary or something, they just run the ball, run the game out. So I don't get it why people would think that, oh, well, hey, you know, maybe ties in the NFL should be a bad win. No. When games like this need to happen, both of these teams do not deserve to win. They did not deserve to win. They didn't want this win. Nobody wanted it. Speaking of teams who don't want things, obviously the Giants just do not care if it's the 49ers' second team out there. The Giants got destroyed. How do you get destroyed by a team that has lost their their quarterback, wide receiver, running back, big plates, tight end. How do you lo- how do you lose to a team like that? You lost to Nick Mullins. Giants. What is going on out there? Speaking of things that are even crazier than that, Bills had a twenty eight to three lead and almost lost it. Like don't get me wrong you know, the Bills won at the end with a very suspect P.I. call as well in that game. That really wasn't pass interference, but okay. But come on, you can't blow leads. You know who did blow a lead all the way and just, and just didn't even care? The Atlanta Falcons, second straight week, they blew a lead. And guess who they blew it to? Big Dick Nick. Oh, my God. They blew it to Nick Foles. Holy shit. Trubisky got benched. And the Bears beat the Falcons. How do you let this happen? Speaking of Thursday night, I don't really care for Thursday night. Um, yeah, the Thursday night games started to already be unwatchable. I I thought I was going to watch the Thursday night. I thought I was going to watch every Thursday night game this year, but it turns out that, you know, the Dolphins being up on the Jags, you know, wasn't really in the best interest of me. So that's a no-go, buddy. Speaking of things that were interesting and then just decided to not get interesting after a while was the Patriots beating up on the Raiders. I mean, come on. Rex Burkhead went off three touchdowns in that game against the Raiders. Raiders were turning it over, making dumb mistakes. You can't do that against Steel Belichick. You can't do that. Cam didn't even need to do much. It was all Rex Burkhead in that game. It was all that defense. You know. Um, I mean, the Browns beat the Washington football team. I mean, what can what can you say there? They beat the Washington football team. They beat them. It's, but at least the Browns are over 500 for the first time in like six years. Crazy, right? That they haven't been over 500 in six years. I don't know what's going on with the Texans, though. Texans need to figure it out. They lost to the Steelers 28-21. They had a lead for a little bit. Then the Steelers came all the way back and started whooping up on that ass. Especially, you know, when the Sean Watson threw a pick early in that um, game. A game that I didn't even know was going on. I'm not even I'm not even joking. We Did anybody notice the Panthers and the Chargers were playing? Because I did not notice, like, at all. 
like I didn't even notice that they were playing. But the Panthers won that game anyway. Um, and the Vikings, on the other hand, are still winless. Still winless. I mean, I just don't get it. I don't know what's going on down there in Minnesota. I don't know what's going on down there. <laughs> Not at all. But um, speaking of another team in New York that's pretty bad, we're talking about the Jets. They're pretty bad. They Sam Darnold is seeing ghosts. He's he's definitely seeing ghosts. If he wasn't seeing ghosts last week, he's definitely seeing ghosts now. Got blown out by the Colts. Just absolutely embarrassing. I think the Jets, um, I don't know if they win a game this year. Now, I mean, they could win a game this year, but the way it's looking now, they're looking pretty pathetic out there. They're looking pretty pathetic. But the Lions hit their first win every day. Lions, you got a big W, baby. Hey, you know, you've been blowing leads and giving up and stuff like that. But, hey, you guys got a victory against the Cardinals of all teams. I know, shocking, right? They beat the Cardinals. Very shocking result there. Bucks starting to gel together. Mike Evans would... Well, he didn't go crazy because he he had two he had two one yard catches for touchdowns. So, you know, he, but man, that defense of the Bucks just went off. You know, on the Broncos. I forgot who the Broncos starting quarterback is now. I think it's Trevor. It's probably not Trevor Simeon. I have no idea. See, the Broncos are just they're just okay. I mean, they're not really doing anything for me. I didn't even watch that game. It was on at the same time as another game that we'll talk about in a moment. Um, and I'm not happy about the game that we're about to talk about soon. So, <laughs> so there's that. Um, Sunday night was actually pretty interesting. Alpha Kamara made a couple of big plays, but it didn't really matter all that much, you know, because you got Aaron Rodgers in the bag. And, you know, I mean, come on. It's the Packers. They've been scoring points at will. They beat the Saints by a touchdown, but they really had the game wrapped up, you know, far earlier than that. And then on Monday night, we had the Chiefs take on the Ravens, and I thought this game was going to be much closer than that, but somebody didn't get the memo to LaPorte Jackson to pass the ball. Like, for the longest time, the man had under 100 yards rushing. And I, I mean, Patrick Mahomes is just unreal. You know, that receiving core is just unreal. And now you got a back of the backfield, too, with Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Unreal out there. The game was pretty much over by halftime. I, I think I turned the game off at the second quarter because, I mean, the Chiefs were up 10 by that point, and it got out of hand really quick. Be sure the Ravens made it a little bit closer to what the score actually was, but I mean the Chiefs just dominated them. It was a dominant score, 34-20. And last but not least, let's talk about my Dallas Cowboys because oh dear, oh Jesus, oh my God, what a terrible performance! What a terrible performance! I don't even know how we were in this game until the very end. Just mistake after mistake and secondary is bad secondary is terrible could not cover Tyler Lockett could not cover DJ Metcalf to save their lives Russell Wilson was throwing dimes all over the field like this should have been a blowout honestly should have been a blowout defense looked awful Offense wasn't much better. Special teams wasn't much better. Muffed, muffed kickoff returns. I mean, Dak throws an interception. And there was a fumble. Because the offensive line cannot block to save their lives. Don't blame it on Dak. Blame it on the offensive line for not protecting Dak in the backfield. And stuff like that. Because, like, I mean, the Seahawks were getting to him all day. So I don't get it. We're one of two. 
So is the Washington football team. We're still in the lead for the division because the Giants are pretty bad. The Eagles are pretty bad. Because, I mean, it's just it's just been rough. It's been a rough season so far. But we'll talk about some big things in the week four preview coming up next in a, about a few hours or so. We'll get that out in a few hours and everything like that. But week three was an interesting time to say the least, and it, it's it's going to be rough for these primetime games, especially in the next couple weeks, because, I mean, they look, there's some awful, awful primetime games in the next couple weeks, and week five does not look especially good at all, but we're not even, we're not even at week five yet, we got to talk about week four very soon, so see you guys then.